Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, we are doing a full DIY project. So, let's get started. Hey guys, how is everyone doing today? So today we're doing a Dollar Tree project. I got the acorn at the Dollar Tree as well as all of these paints, the glue and the glitter. I love it. It is adorable acorn and we're going to embellish it with some glue and glitter. And I'm going to do a pour. You're going to see what I'm going to do. It's really cool. And we're going to embellish it more with these beautiful leaf felt um, clothespins. All right, and we're also gonna add that beautiful pumpkin spice glitter. But first, I am going to paint it with all those beautiful paints from the Dollar Tree. I love those colors, so let's go. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, so the first step is we are going to paint with a brush because when I pour, I don't wanna miss any spots. Now, very, very important, if you don't do acrylic pouring, you don't have to. I'm going to do a pour over this, but basically, I'm, you know, you can just paint um, just the way I am right now and paint any colors you want. Feel free to use any colors that you want and that you love. doesn't have to be exactly like an acorn with the orange and the brown. Okay, so you don't have to pour, you can just paint it, and then you can decorate it, okay? Um, so basically, I am just painting with this gorgeous um, Acrology acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. And if you don't already know, I absolutely love it. It's actually a really, really great paint. Um, and it's just going on so smooth, it's bright, it's quite lovely for a dollar i don't really don't know how they do it but i love it it's great so for anyone who actually is wanting to start learning how to pour i would suggest this paint highly recommend it now the darker color is a little splotchy i will have to say um but that's fine you just do you know like any acrylic paint you just do a couple layers, you know, and again, I am going to be pouring over this so it doesn't have to be perfect. But if you are just going to paint directly on the wood, just, you know, let it dry a little bit and do another coat. And again, for me, it, this doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, it's not perfect, which is fine because I'm pouring over it. So that's it. We're just going to layer up this beautiful brown paint. And I am going to add some other layers to it just to make sure all the wood is covered. And I'm going to flip it around now. <clears throat> Sorry. And do the other side. So same thing. I'm just going to get that little cute acorn cap there with this very nice brown paint. And again, it's it's pretty thin. The orange was a little thicker and brighter, but some colors just, you know, it is what it is. You have to layer them up and that is absolutely fine. And just take your time. I've sped up the video a little bit for you guys. So the video is not that long and that's it. So, you know, I'm just hitting the edges there and I am gonna go around all of the parts of the acorn now, and then I'm gonna do some pours. All right, guys, so this I also got at the Dollar Tree as well. It is Sargent Pouring Medium, and of course, I use my beautiful split board cup uh, by Artsy Fartsy Lovers, make that art. I'm gonna put the link to it in my video. I love my split board cup. So I am just doing kind of like a split pour, kind of a ring. I'm just being fluid with it. It is fluid art. And I am just gonna tip and spread around these beautiful colors all over what I just painted, just to give it some extra dimension. And I love that. And that's why I painted first with like a one coat of the other paint. So I get all, you know, all the parts of the wood. And I just love already the way this is looking. Very beautiful, very like marble looking acorn. I love it. 
And now I'm gonna flip it and I am gonna do another pour on the other side. So it's kind of like a split pour slash ring pour. You just do any type, if you wanna do paint pouring, you can do any technique you want. Please, you don't have to do what I'm doing. This is what I chose to do. And just have fun with it. And this is a great, it's going to be a great addition to your decorations for the fall. You can use this for Thanksgiving. You can leave it out for Halloween, whatever you want to do. You could tweak it, but it is a fall decoration. And I'm just tipping it back and forth and spreading around the paint. And I'm just going to clean it up a bit and spread around the paint around the edges there. It did pull up and get inside of the acorn, which is perfectly fine. And now we're going to pour, while the paint is wet, I'm going to pour a little bit of glitter. So that way you don't have to add glue afterwards. While the paint is wet, you could just embellish it with a little glitter if you choose to do so and the glitter will just stick directly onto the paint and dry that way and I'm just spreading around a little more I am going to clean up the edges quite a bit um, the painted pool around in the corners here I'm just going to go around I'm going to clean it up and I'm gonna clean up the sides. I'm also gonna go and clean up the inside as well. You see some paint dripped in there so it could dry properly. Okay, and I'm gonna let this dry and then I will be back and we'll do the next step. Okay guys, so here it is. I just finished pouring it. That's how it looks, it's drying now. So, of course, after it dries, I am going to add those beautiful felt clothespins. I am loving the way this is looking so far. Again, I am going to do a bit of cleaning up so it dries properly um, wherever it's pooled. I'm just going to let it drip. I'm going to give it 24 hours to dry and I am going to come back and we are going to further embellish our beautiful acorn project. All right, guys, so it is 24 hours later. It's still slightly tacky, but this is how it came out. And while the paint was still wet, I added that foil autumn leaf. Look how gorgeous this came out. Beautiful bright colors. I love that when you layer it. Um, these paints are really awesome. Whoops. So now we are going to add some of these adorable clothespins these felt autumn leaf clothespins okay and they are kind of upside down which is weird I don't know why they glue them on that way but we're gonna add another one we're gonna add a yellow one and an orange we'll get all of them because I want to give it uh, some contrast the paint is quite dark and I want to just add a little contrast to it and let's just clip that on very very cute and we're gonna add the last one. I'm not gonna glue them down, um, cause I may wanna move them around, but you could choose to glue them down. And I add that little foil piece from a piece of foil garland I have. And now we're gonna take just a little drop of this orange glitter glue. Again, everything is from the Dollar Tree. So this whole project is gonna cost you way less than $10, maybe $5, $6. And I'm just adding a drop of this glue to each leaf and then it's gonna dry it's gonna be nice and glittery and I love that color glue it's so nice it is like a little more clear on the clear side and what we're gonna make today is we are making a napkin holder now you could also use this as a pen or pencil holder you can use it for makeup brushes you can use it in your kitchen uh, maybe for some kitchen utensils but I am choosing to use it as a napkin holder. I know those are Thanksgiving napkins. I am not pushing Thanksgiving yet. It's not even Halloween. <laughs> but that is my beautiful project, and I hope you enjoyed it. Again, anyone can do this. It is super, super easy. And guys, thank you so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.